Hello, everyone. So a friend of mine found this pressure washer here at a uh, junkyard and he says, hey, Jeff, I found a pressure washer, a Honda GC160 engine. So we put gas in it and it actually started right up. But boy, it was clickety clackety making a lot of noise from the, the upper end here. So we shut it right down. Um, it seemed to run good except for that loud noise coming from the valve cover there. I assume that one of the valves is way out of adjustment. Uh, so let's, let's take a look. Let's open this sucker up. 10 millimeter, of course. Sometimes these Honda covers are like glued on with silicone and they're a bit difficult to remove. So you want to be careful and not pry it off and, and bend it and warp it. Because then you'll forever be chasing leaks. Sometimes there's a gasket, sometimes it's just silicone that they use. And you can see here, I've got the, uh, the adjustments. The intake is six thousandths and the exhaust is eight thousandths. Whoops. Try to pry it a little bit. And it doesn't want to come, so we're going to have to work that sucker off there real easy. Like, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. As I was saying, these can be real tough to get off. I'm just going to spend some time wrapping on it here and try not to dent anything. My rubber mallet might be a good choice. Ah, what the heck. I'll just be careful. Come on. There's a couple of pry spots. I'm going to try to very carefully pry it off there. That sucker is just locked in place. gets real bad, I'll probably get a blowtorch and heat it up, try and take it off. Oops, I'm bending it. Gonna have to fix that. Starting to make a different noise now, so I think it's loosening up. But you see, I bent it, but I can bend that out. It's just a cover anyways. There we go. The Thor hammer did it. And dented it. But you can see it is just silicone, so that sucks. I'm going to have to spend some time cleaning all that off. And as far as the inside goes, you can see where I bent it there. It's not too bad. It'd be pretty easy to bend back into shape. Okay. So. What is going on with these valves? That could be a noisy valve. Can you hear that noise? I'm going to slowly pull the uh, pull rope and just kind of work it through and see what's going on here. Well, you know, doesn't seem like much play there, but that's probably the problem. So that is the exhaust valve. Can you hear it? 
doesn't move much, but I think it's probably out of adjustment. Let's get my feeler gauge and check it out. One thing we do need to do before we can adjust either one of these is we need to take out the spark plug. So we can set the engine to top dead center on the compression stroke. And I will show you what that means. So the compression stroke is when the piston is moving up and the combustion chamber is full of gas fumes. And when the piston's at the top of its travel, that's known as top dead center. Yeah, there's a lot of, you see that? A lot of soot on there. A lot of oil inside the spark plug hole I can see too. But anyways, we're going to stick the screwdriver down the spark plug hole. And as it moves up and down, you can see we can see where the piston is at in its travel. How it goes up and then down. So what we want to do is find a downstroke when the intake valve is opening, which when it's pressing down. And... That's not it, but this stroke here is when you're sucking fuel into the system and now we're heading back up on our way to our compression stroke. Now this is when we want to find the top of the piston travel right here. So that's it. I'm going to double check that. Look at it from the side here, that always helps me. Make sure it's at the very top of its travel. I don't want to screw this up. Take it nice and slow. That's the top of the travel. Okay, so now we can adjust these valves and see how loose they actually are. Here's my eight thousandths feeler gauge here. And I'm just gonna... Yeah, it's not super loose, but it's, it's pretty loose. And let's see the... Intake is supposed to be at six. Let's see how it slides in and out of there. Uh, it could use a, a little adjustment, but I do think that the old uh, exhaust valve is way past eight thousands. So let's go ahead and tighten him up. To do that, you'll want to loosen up the lock nut and then uh, turn the adjustment screw clockwise. Hold it with pluck pair of pliers, it looks like, is about what you need to do because I don't have the special tool. And then lock down the lock nut. I'm not too worried about. Uh, torque specifications. I'm just not going to over torque it. That's all I'm worried about. You don't want to under torque it either, but uh, you know, just make it tight. So it's a nine millimeter here to loosen that. You can actually turn this with your finger. All right, let's see. Got my eight, and I'm just going to tighten it until it's a little stiff to get in and out of there. Maybe a little more.
Yeah, I think that's about right. So if I need to, I'm going to hold it in place with this and then tighten it. Nine. Try to hold it right there. Not too tight, remember, you don't want to break anything. Yeah, I think I need to go a little bit tighter. Sometimes the adjustment changes a little bit when you tighten it down, so you'll want to check a few times. And onto the intake side. Need a little tightening there as well. Not very much. Trying to give you guys a good camera angle. Uh, you know, I think that's going to be all right. Yep, I'm going to leave it right there. Hold this in place. Tighten it down. And check it again. Once again, this is the six thousandths. Yeah, I think that feels pretty good. Turns out this dent doesn't cause any trouble, so I'm not even going to worry about pulling it out. My buddy won't notice. It did come from a junkyard after all. should be good enough for a test. Let's test this baby out. <sighs> okay. So, choke on. Uh, we already checked the oil, so I know we're good there. Let her rip. this motor. Uh, it was too full of oil and it had been tipped over. So that's why it was smoking so bad. It's all that oil burning off out of the muffler, out of the cylinder and everything else. Uh, I don't have that ticking noise anymore so that's pretty good. There's definitely that exhaust valve 